Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist at the Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the Tech Travel Geeks Nokia 5.3 Gaming Performance Example video, where we show you how well the Nokia 5.3 performs playing Call of Duty Mobile. Now we've had lots of requests for this on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel, so I'm going to walk you through a game of Call of Duty Mobile on the Nokia 5.3. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Now, as you can see, loading isn't immediate, but it is pretty fast. And in this case, I'm on Wi-Fi, and I'm going to be connecting to the game servers and playing a game of Kill Confirmed on a random map. So I'm going to go for Kill Confirmed Random Map. Seems to be one of the most popular game modes on Call of Duty Mobile at the moment. And we'll see how I get on. Probably not very well. I'm not a super experienced player. But the Nokia 5.3 has no issues running the game. And I'm quite satisfied with it. For £150, it's really good performance overall. So as you can see... Very little lag. It seems to be quite reactive. And the colours are well saturated when you're in the main game. Obviously at the moment everything's blacked out. There's a lot going on in this game, as you'd expect. Game is quite close at the moment. Yeah. 
Well, that's definitely a close game so far. Ah, damn it. Bits of pantomime there. He was behind me. Let's use a rocket. the game over. So that was an example of Call of Duty Mobile. This was a multiplayer game online. And as you can see, graphics are decent, gameplay is pretty much what you'd expect. The responsiveness of the screen and the controls is excellent. And the screen colours and performance are really, really quite good. It's quite amazing that a device in the £150 or sub $200 price range can play such a fully featured game. So as you can see, everything is working well. As I said, the only thing with the ergonomics to this game is that by playing it in this mode, or in this mode, you risk putting your, you putting your fingers over the speaker. There's one single speaker at the top right here when holding it uh, with the selfie camera on your left, which can be covered. But apart from that, I can say that overall performance is decent. I have taken the time to play this game for an hour at a time to see if there's any heating issues with apps like Messenger, Facebook, and Telegram on in the background and had no issues. And you can still peek at notifications if you need to. Now, overall, this is a good experience for me. Uh, the only thing I'd say is it does get a bit warm. The Nokia 5.3 does get a bit warm in the top half. That's probably where the main chipset is that gives all the performance we've seen in this gameplay video. So that is the conclusion to the walkthrough of a quick game of Kill Confirmed on a random map on Call of Duty Mobile on the Nokia 5.3. So thank you for watching this Tech Travel Geeks video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to us. Let us know in the comments what you think about this smartphone, what you think about its performance playing Call of Duty Mobile, and if that you have any questions. So for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.